Now, rising NBA star Jeremy Grant and designer Ife Omar Onya are launching our generation, a cool and relaxed fashion collection for very tall young men. This Midsummer Madness fashion show brought uh, an NBA players to the Washington area with a shared goal of fighting sickle cell anemia. Our red carpet reporter, Myra Fernandez, was there. We are in the DC area, Maryland to be exact, where designer Ifioma Onya and NBA player Jeremy Grant revealed the basketball star's first clothing collection. This is a CrossFit gym in the middle of a storage center with a very industrial look. It's the perfect venue for the cool Rebel clothing line that includes ripped jeans and patterned shirts and jackets. But what drove the 24-year-old basketball player to the fashion world? You can look at any little thing, uh, honestly, and, and, and find uh, morals and, and, and artistic views from it. Um, the, the, the work ethic you, you, you have to put in, um, the time you have to put in is, is similar to the time you have to put in the basketball to, to, to be as good as you want to be. And there was a time when finding clothes for a six foot eight young man wasn't easy, which is also why he chose to be a designer. It was definitely tough finding clothes. Um, my entire family um, obviously played basketball, so we was extremely tall. Um, often got hand-me-downs and things like that. So uh, that's definitely that's definitely one of the reasons uh, why why I wanted to create. Inside the gym, there was plenty of support for the new designer, whose inspiration comes from almost everywhere. His dad and uncle were among the audience, and his brothers and childhood friends didn't miss his first runaway show. NBA star Victor Oladipo from the Indiana Pacers showed his support. I had the pleasure and the honor of growing up with the Grant brothers, uh, Jeremy, Jaron, Jalen, and Jure. And uh, Jeremy is here having his, his uh, uh, shooting his first fashion show for his line. Um, and, you know, I just came back to support him. When we sat to talk with the Thunders player, the room was already filled with excitement as people were ready to check out his designs. And Jeremy was calm, wearing his own brand, a black shirt partly sprinkled with paint, looking almost like a mistake, but purposely done, along with ripped black pants, a scarf on his wrist, and a hat. The fashionista shows Ifio Maonia from Cleopatra Couture to work on his collection. I met with her early, uh, just about getting clothes made for me personally, and uh, our relationship kind of just blossomed into... Um, being able to create something uh, for my line. Um, she's just great. She, she kind of took me in. I, I met Jeremy's mom. I designed for her for her 50th. And Jeremy had seen my collection and reached out to me to design for him, for his personal use. And from having conversation, I found that he had the same passion that I did. He's artistic and his sketches. So I was like, hey, we can collaborate and I can help you bring your dream to life. And that's how we started. The Nigerian designer Ifioma Onya, or Ifi, like she likes to introduce herself, study fashion in London, lives in the DC area, and she's sure there's more than space for African designers and fashionistas to place their mark in US fashion and trends. And my design, my tagline is fashion without borders. I've incorporated the three continents that I grew up in, Europe, Africa, and the US. Ifi wants to make it to the Lagos and South Africa fashion weeks. While that hasn't happened, there's a lot of work in the capital nation to do. Throughout her life, she has been surrounded by very special people, amongst them some with sickle cell anemia, a disease for which she decided to bring awareness. I had a dear friend that had um, sickle cell in London, and she used to have crisis, and she would call me. So I said, kid, I'll go in and see her, and she would be in pain crying, and I couldn't understand it. So when I started my show in London, I did the first Black Bridal exhibition in the UK, I gave part of my proceeds to the foundation over there. And coming over here, it just so happens that my daughter's best friend has sickle cell. My son's best friend has sickle cell. And my godson has sickle cell. So it's just destiny. Part of the proceeds from the Midsummer Madness fashion show will be donated to Howard University Research Center for Sickle Cell Anemia. One in 13 black or African-American babies is born with sickle cell trait according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. 
Well, that was Myra Fernandez reporting.